Okay, I'm genuinely excited about this. This is LibreChat. I've got it set up now, connected to various AI, and uh, managed to get get it working on um, Railway, the doc Docker kind of hosting. So, uh, with a bit of help. <laughs> I did not get this working by myself. Okay, so, th but this is really, really good. I love the interface. All right, so let's have a go. First up, making a custom prompt, because I think this is probably a good starting point for most kind of beginner entry point to doing something with AI, right? So uh, I've used um, uh, Gemini just to make up a prompt for me. So what we're going to do is just grab our prompt name and we've got our prompt description. So that goes in there and we'll just call it recipe idea it will be the, um, so we'll call it simple recipe idea. Um, just like that, okay, and we've got our prompt. This is the information you can see here. This is the uh, like a selection variable. This is an input variable, and so you'll see in a moment how that works once it's in the prompt. Okay, so you can see we've got the variables. There's our like an input. That's a selection, and that's a selection. So, and we're going to put this under I don't know miscellaneous. Uh, that'll do, and create the prompt. Okay, so now it'll refreshes, and we can see uh, color codes the variables for us and makes it a uh, bit neater to read, which is great. So now if we go back to the chat, we've got our simple recipe ID generator here. So I just tap on that, or we can do a slash command. So just forward slash, and then uh, the prompts like show up in here, and you can do a search to get to the prompt. Okay, so that's a, this is like the framework for it. So we know what we're aiming for overall. And here is the um, variable entry points. So if I type in now, we're going to have chicken and meal type. Uh, let's make it lunch and dietary preference. Let's have low carb. Okay, so that's the inputs. And you can see it's actually substituted them in already into the text. So we know what we're, what we're putting in. And this is the prompt that's going to be sent to the AI. Like all of this text is the prompt. So we press submit now. I've got it connected to Gemini 2.5 Pro Preview. And this is the output. Cool. Okay, so there's there's the output. So I know this is a simple example. Uh, I will do some more, but I just wanted to like show the concept of like exactly what we're doing here. And so you can really do quite elaborate prompts, you know, like I, I've been playing around with some different uh, ideas for prompts. And so for example, like a detailed content outline generator where, you know, you've got all of these different variables that you could set, like you can have title and type of content, etc. So let's have a go at doing that because that, that's quite interesting just seeing that that working. So we'll make a new, new, uh, new, a new chat prompt, whatever you call it. And so, uh, I'm going to do the quick one because uh, just respectful of time here. So topic for the outline is going to be how will um, how will agentic AI systems oh, systems affect business hard to type when you're excited processes and slow down a bit. Okay, so content type. Uh, let's have a white paper. Uh, primary goal, educate the audience, um, other goals, you know, be uh, interesting and engaging to hold people's attention. Um, target audience, so we're just going to say like um, people who are fairly new to AI but Maybe uh, running a business, um, area of expertise. So we're just going to say beginner, um, desired tone, informative and neutral. Uh, don't worry about that outline structure. So let's have a detailed one. Um, key takeaway, I don't know, figure that out itself. Desired content length, we'll go for 1,000 to 2,500. Call to action, um, contact for info. Any other call to action? No, no. Um, so emphasize, avoid. Um, let's uh, let's try try to include some real world examples to make it easier to understand. 
All right, so we've done all the question, all the answers. This is the prompt that's going to the AI. Press submit, and now we wait. Well, it has to think about that. So we've got quite a well-structured prompt. I mean, you could use anything really as the prompt structure. You, you can just have no variables at all. You could just have the prompt, and there it is. Off it goes. But what I want to do here is take these inputs. Okay, so. Now, this is amazing. It shows up this side panel, which is like an artifact window in uh, Claude or in Gemini. You know, you've seen how it works with that separate panel. And this is so amazing because it keeps it out of the flow of the chat. So it's there. We can, we can see we've got this you know, uh, representative icon for the information, but the output is in the side panel. Now, I know it's in code, but it's, it's just marked out, right? So this is information uh, which which we can be used in a document. So I uh, might just get a blank Google Doc ready while we're thinking about it. So I'll just bring that over here. And what we're going to do, we're going to grab this. When it's finished, I'm going to grab this and we're going to paste it into a Google Doc just so you can see how that will format. So um, at the moment, yeah, so I'm just running Gemini 2.5 Pro Preview, which is, you know, arguably one of the best AI models going right now. Like it is really at genius level and I, I use it for practically everything. Like every day I'm using this either through AI Studio or through Gemini or in the Gemini app. It's just an amazing, amazing AI model. And it's very capable. I mean, I, and I haven't connected up any MCP to this yet. There, there's a whole world of tools and stuff. Okay, so we've got all of this. Uh, I'm just going to grab all of that um, let's just highlight everything go back to our google doc and we'll right click paste with markdown okay so here is our white paper outline all right so this this could then be the beginning of the article so uh, let's let's make a couple of choices so how about we'll go with um, this question answer kind of topic so let's uh, let's have a go at telling it to write the article okay let's write the article uh, we'll use that as the title that was what it called wasn't it um, yeah as, as the title I think we can do like things like follow-up prompts and all sorts of stuff but let's just I'm just keeping it simple I've only just you know, logged into this half an hour ago so it's not like I know all of the settings and everything yet. Um, okay, let's let's go. So uh, let's see if this works. <laughs> I hope so. Okay, so we submitted the title. It knows the outline. So I'm assuming now we're going to get the article. Okay, see, oh, yes, I love it. So it pushed it over to the artifacts, the, the artifact window. I, I don't actually know if you can like get this to um, to word wrap, I, I suspect there must be a way, but right now I just have it like it's just a default. There probably is a way of doing word wrap. I might find out later. It's just such a excellent model. I mean, I, you just can't beat it, really. Like, I mean, okay, cool. So let's copy that. I realize there's a copy button there now, or download, download, what does download do? Downloads a file, yeah, oh, okay, downloads it at HTML, interesting, okay. Um, so we'll just, uh, let's just come down here, and actually, we might make a, um, let's just give this a title. Okay, so we'll come down to the bottom, uh, control enter for a new page, and paste from markdown, and let's have a look. Yeah, cool, that looks fine, like, uh, I'm not going to sit there and read it right now, just a bit busy. Um, but yeah, look, okay, a little analogy. It's, yeah, calculator, visual suggestion, nice. Okay, and I think this is where, like, an agentic version of this, we can do things like create graphics and stuff. So, but again, just starting with simple, just like let's make some prompts and have a, have a go at that first. So, yeah, this is uh, super exciting. I've got heaps more to learn and. Um, there's not very many videos about this, so I thought I'd better make some so I can remind myself and our team how to use this tool because it is awesome. Really love it.